Now, who am I beating in a fight? Off rip, I'm strangling the shit out of a golden retriever. He might not even be on the list, but every time I see golden retrievers, that little ball, little smooth I spot. You show you woo -foo -foo. Did you get it? I did. That little ball, little smooth spot on the top of their shit. I just really want to, like, I know animal abuse or L, but uh, I kind of don't fuck with golden retrievers like that. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, a golden retriever, for, I don't know why it's the golden retriever, but they always strike me as assholes. I'm sorry. A crab. Realistically speaking, if I saw a crab, what would I do? I would stomp it out. I would stomp it out um, low-key. I would be a little apprehensive because it's not as simple as, like, a lobster, crab. You're right. It's not a crab. Lobster, uh, koi fish, starfish, whatever. You know what the fuck. All right. I'm frying the crab up wine. Right. I'm taking his ass to red fucking lobster. We're calling it a day. Now, I wouldn't feel as confident stomping this dude out if I didn't have thick soles because he's not like as simple as a tarantula he got some armor on him he got special armor um but assuming I get through that without much difficulty we're uh, we're painting the walls with his blood no 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 real competition now a zebra what happens when I get in close proximity to a zebra he might rush my shit. I'm just being honest he might rush me I'm definitely destroying a zebra though I'm definitely destroying a zebra um, it's just, how long would it take me to do it? How long would it take me to do it? Y'all are saying he's kicking me up. Y'all don't understand how I'm going into the fight. You stomping out Mr. Krabs after he tried to sell you for 62 cents. On God, on Jesus Christ. Y'all don't understand how I'm going into the fight. I already know before I get there that a zebra is coming, right? So I'm not in a position where I'm not mentally and physically prepared tactically with the tools required to take a zebra out i'm sniping his ass from 50 yards away and we're painting his off well like it's just simple now he might get a few hits in if i miss a couple shots which you might be prone to do on your first time if you're using a sniper these He's are all bare hands or oh they barehanded oh well i mean realistically speaking if a zebra did try to like try to get my sh i could just wrap myself around his neck and squeeze till till the end um it wouldn't be close though it wouldn't be close i could I, I very easily could wrap myself around his neck and just go crazy he wouldn't be able to he wouldn't be able to get me off of him so he's getting strangled to fuck death and uh I'm, I'm putting him down and i'm burying him next to simba okay a mouse come on bro let's 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 be honest once i catch him he's done he might bite me on the finger or something but it's like I would have fun Gun spreading him. Cheating, no weapons, but your hands and the environment. I would have fun spreading his shit. I'm not gonna lie. A deer, he might impale me. A deer is a little bit different because I can't just choke him the same way I could a zebra. One of those antlers is gonna like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm what, like the the, the type of t time that I'm trying to think of is like you know when in anime the two characters they clash. Like, if we clash and I end up on one side and he ends up on the other side, I'm the one that's going to be bloodied after because his antlers will have scraped me in the, in the, in the skirmish. So I'm going to go ahead and say it will be close, but I'm still going to take the dub. Okay? A deer, they get spooked real easy too, and they don't really be like, you know what I'm saying, elk, deer, whatever, bro! Dilk, oh no. Ilk, uh, deer, whatever the fuck, I don't care. I don't care, you know, uh, he's fine. He's getting spread, though, you know, gotta love Bam. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Dude, chill, chill. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. All right, what is this thing? Um, an iguana, right? This is an iguana. I'm not too sure. Assuming my feet work just fine and I'm not afraid of making him explode underneath my weight, um... I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to probably win this. This iguana isn't getting anywhere near me as long as I am above his vision. I'm taller than him. I'm stronger than him. I'm faster than him. I could take him by the tail and swing him around and throw him into conditions that would, wouldn't be conducive for survival for, for people of his kind, you know. So I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a lot that I can do to bro that I haven't even thought of. I'm definitely taking a dub on that one. But he might bite or scratch my ankles, you know. He might. A squid? No. Any animal that I gotta fight in, like, I don't know what this is. It might be a squid, it might be a platypus. Like, any animal that I have to fight underneath the water, if I'm in the water and I have to fight an animal, I'm, I'm taking an L. 
I can barely swim. I can barely swim. Um, now if he's on land, if he's on land, <laughs> I'm still taking the L. <laughs> I'm still taking the L. Cause what if he suck me up? Like, bro, what if he? What if she start like doing that little suction thing? You know. I can't say if they decided to have this fight happen in prehistoric times or in post-apocalyptic times, you just never know. That's all I'm going to say. I just don't think I can take the I don't think I can take the fight. That's all I'm saying. I don't think I could really beat him. A bear? Okay. Now I notice in your mind you're going to think to yourself, "Nah, nobody's fighting a bear." You know? I know what you're thinking. But put yourself in anime conditions. Put yourself in anime conditions. I could 100% see myself in the face of adversity taking on a bear to defend my loved ones. I could do it. I could. F I feel it happening. Now, will it work? Because bears are low-key fast as fuck. They are. Bears are low-key quick as hell. Their hand speed is a little bit crazy. Bear? And they Grizzly got... Bear? They got... Panda bear. Look, chill, chill, chill. Bear. Chill. And they got claws at the end of their shit. I don't know. It sounds like it's good in theory, but in reality, I don't know if I could really fully finish them or take them on. But I would try. Um, I get a few hits in at least. You're not Goku. I don't give a fuck, man. Chill. That's the that's our problem. That's why most of y'all wouldn't make it in post apocalyptic conditions because you believe that because you're not Goku, you can't put in no fucking pain because you's a bitch. That's not me. I'm just saying, bro. I'm going out fighting and screaming and kicking. Like, the nigga who take me up out of the way, if he an animal, bro, he's not leaving that fight unscarred. I'm sorry, bro. I'm just sorry. It's not happening. I don't give a fuck if you think I'm delusional, bro. I'm leaving a mark on this man, bro. I'm leaving a mark on him. It is what it is. It is what it is, bro. I'm saying anime conditions. I mean, like, if you put me in those real circumstances, it would be fine, bro. Now a hippo, I don't feel like that because if the like the bite force and pressure, I've seen a hippo like squash a watermelon with his jaws, um, and some other things too. Like they swallow their food whole a lot of the time. They teeth crooked as hell. They don't got a dental plan, um, so they just be walking around like this. I'm not really trying to try my hand with a with a hippo. I don't know why they just they they rub me in a in a worse way than bears do. Now, assuming I don't get caught by their jaws, I probably will have a better chance at taking on the, the the hippo. But what damage could I do? What damage could I do? Uh, getting brother natured. I Bro, shut shut the fuck up. Forget. Shut shut up. Shut up. Shut 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 Now, is this a is this a a snapping turtle or just a regular turtle? If this is a snapping turtle, I'm not going anywhere near it. If it's a regular turtle, like a sea turtle, okay. Tortoise, what, bro? Um, you niggas, bro. I don't give a fuck about you. Stop it. Um, again, even if I have to fight him in the sea, I'm not confident. I'm not confident. I'm not getting torn to shreds. It would be a fifty-fifty, bro, because. I probably lose air before I could actually do any fatal damage to this man. I'm gonna be honest. Now I might be able to break his neck or something like that, but isn't it? The, don't they have like that little body thing where it's like, what? Well, what does a turtle look like without his shell? I'm I'm going fifty fifty with a turtle because I like I really don't know where to attack it. I don't want to look that up. I feel like it's gonna be disgusting. Now a tiger. This is like, I don't know. Like a tiger is kind of crazy. Um, I don't think I would get any real damage in off of a tiger. Like there's something about the the tiger the tiger clan that doesn't make me feel confident. Maybe it's the skin. Maybe I'm racist. Um, I don't know, but. I don't think I'd be afraid. Yeah, I'd be afraid to fight him. A tiger is kind of different. Like, you put me in a cage with a tiger, bro. Can I you beat Tigress from Kung Fu Panda? I'm taking her on a date, low-key. 
Like she gonna train me by the end of the whole little interaction, and we low key just gonna be a couple. You know? For some of the sea animals, you could hypothetically take him on land, gang Loki, if it's a guy wearing a costume of said animal. Okay, but in real life, right? Assuming like it's a sea turtle, he would be in the fucking sea, you know. So I couldn't really put it in a situation where, you know, I'm on land and he's at like this severe disadvantage. Where am I going to encounter this man? Most likely in the sea, you know. Same thing with everybody else here. I'm encountering them in conditions where I would most likely find them, and I don't think I would find a sea turtle outside of the sea, you know. Uh, regardless, I still feel like I could take him on, but he might do a quick jab and my shit might be done, you know. That's just that's just how I feel. Um, what is this, a coyote? A coyote or a wolf? I don't know what the difference between... I know the difference between them, but, like, I don't know how they look in, in general. Um... A wolf, I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I'm definitely beating the fuck out of a wolf. I'm definitely beating the fuck out of a wolf. You saying I got the grizzly bear too high? I don't think so, bro. Like, you don't know how strong you can get in certain conditions. Like, that's just my opinion, personally. Um, what is this? Uh, the, I forgot the name of this bird. What's the name of this bird? A parrot? Really? <laughs> I feel like there's a different word for this nigga, bro. Um, a parrot. I just strangle him. I'm painting the walls. I'm painting the walls with with the blood. Nigga, is this a kimono dragon? A komodo dragon? I said a kimono. Is this a komodo dragon? I'm not even touching him. There's so much that I know and so much that I don't know about a kimono dragon. There's this like. I know they're slow. I know they're slow, but at the same time, they can go quick as fuck. They can, they got venomous tongues, I think. There's a lot of information that I know about this animal, but I also can't verify that I'm not willing to take the chance on if I ever saw them in person. That's the type of time that I'm on with this dragon. And I've seen these dragons eat mice alive full force full force i'm just not taking that opportunity i'm not taking that risk i'm not taking that risk nigga in here talking about this nigga not beating a zebra you're you're a bitch if you want to take that chance and make yourself look like a bitch and that's you that's just not me if you don't see yourself wrapping around a zebra's neck and strangling the life out of them then that's you i'm different we're not all the same a lion I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm putting Mufasa in a fucking chokehold, and I'm not letting him go. I'm doing it in front of Simba. He going to fucking see it. I'm the new Scar. I'm the new Scar. That's just how I'm feeling. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Realistically speaking, I will bite him back. I will bite him back. He going to bite me, but I'm going to bite him back. I'm going to bite him back. Can I, can I phone a friend? Can I phone a friend and, and uh like allow a jump in? Can we jump him? We can't jump him. I'ma keep him here for now. I might change my mind. Who who knows? An eagle, a bald eagle? Hmm. I'm tearing one of his wings off. And the other animals is going to finish him. But I got too much respect for birds to say that I would just clear this man. Um, it would be close, but I'd probably lose. He going to peck my fucking eyes out. Um, but I'm tearing one of his fucking wings off. Or both of them. Or both of them. Oh, I forgot about his talons. Fuck. Okay, wait. There's another. Okay, that's different. Um. Yeah, that's a lot to consider. Okay, okay. Put me in a position where he fucks up, right? Like, let's say, okay, okay, okay. Look, let, look at it like this. Like, how about this? How about this? How about this? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. How, okay, imagine the eagle, right? He sees me from afar. He thinks I'm a lick because I'm not looking dead at him, right? I'm over here looking for snakes. I'm actually trying to sacrifice the snakes for him, trying to give him food. 
he comes diving down at me because he thinks that I'm not really like that, so I'm not expecting him. But I hear him. I hear his wingspan. And then you know how the birds, you know, they got their wings out like this, and then they close them so that they can dive towards whatever they're trying to get? He going to dive towards me, right? I'm a, I'm a, like, I'm going to hear him coming from behind me. I'm going to go grab him by the beak, boom, throw him down, right? Grab him by the beak, boom, throw him down. Once he's down, I'm immediately going for his fucking legs. Then bum-ass chicken leg, I'm going for him. Boom. Taking him like this, slamming him like that. Now he's on his back, right? Now he's on his back. I'm taking one of my feet, and I'm putting one foot on one wing. I'm taking the other foot, boom, putting it on the other wing. Whole time, I still got both my arms and both my hands wrapped around his talons. So he's not going nowhere. He's fucked. He's going absolutely nowhere. Once I put him in that position, he's done. Think about that gang. He's he done. Are hella smart. Yeah, but they not he's not gonna see what I got planned in my mind coming. So I got both my feet on his wings. I got my full weight on, bro, and I also got my hands on his talons. Now what do I do? I just rip him apart. I literally have to rip him apart with full force. With full force. The way you're describing this makes me think you used to watch pro wrestling. No. But I sw that's what I feel like I'm going to do. Now, the reason I say I would lose is... The reason I would say I would lose is... There's an opportunity, there's a possibility that I miss when I try to grab him. There's a possibility that I miss when I try to grab him, right? I hate niggas like you. Oh, my God. What are you talking about? There's an opportunity that I miss when I grab him. So if I miss after I grab, after I try to grab, bro, he's going to peck my shit up. And I might bleed out. I might bleed out. Now, I could try to guard and do like this as much as I want. But if he gets through my guard, which is literally just my skin, I don't know, bro. It's not looking too hot for me. I don't know exactly how I'm a fair with only my hands and feet at my disposal. I can't say. I can't say. It can fly? Yeah, it's going to fly away from me. I can run away from it too, you know? But I think I'm going to lose if I don't get that one part off quick enough. It's, it's not going to look... Is that a rhino? Honestly, I wouldn't be afraid of a rhino. But I don't know how I would kill it either. I don't know how I would kill it either. Like I would lo like realistically speaking, I would ride him until he gets tired and falls out. I know that sounds crazy, but that is probably the best and most efficient way to deal with this situation. You know, Rhino are super predictable, but they got crazy defense. That's what I'm saying. Skin hard ass. He durable. He durable. So I probably would win. The only way it would be close is if I get tired, because there's not that many ways to kill a rhino with just your bare hands. Like I could try to like claw at his skin, but just my nails alone. I don't think that's going to do the job. I'm gonna have to really I'm gonna have to really cook. I'm gonna have to really cook. I'm not losing that though. I'm not losing him, but I'm gonna have to cook. Is this a hummingbird? What is this? Or is it a woodpecker? It's a woodpecker or a hummingbird. Bro, you can say delusion as much as you want, bro. That's you. You putting yourself in these positions, then y'all going crazy, but that's y'all, not me. It's a robin? That's not a robin. Y'all don't even know what the fuck this bird is. Let's just assume this is a random bird. Y'all got so many different... Nah, see, y'all dumb. I'm not going to y'all for advice on this. Um, He might have venom in his beak for all I know. He probably don't. He look cute as fuck, but he probably got some power or something. Assuming I could catch him, his shit is done. If I don't catch him, like, we just really won't really interact. Um, 
But once I catch them, bro, I'm I'm putting them I'm putting them on a platter and I'm eating them. It's as simple as that. Not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal personally. A panda bear. My perception of panda bears are very skewed. I know they can get ruthless in situations that cause for it, um, and they probably will like dead your shit. But I don't know. The perception that I have of them just isn't that. But I probably wouldn't go near a panda to be honest. You know. Don't tell me what I can and can't do, nigga. Stop, stop talking to me. We're not the same. So I don't know for sure. Maybe I would try, but I don't know. He'd have to run at me full speed for me to really get intimidated. Outside of that, I'm not looking at a panda as if he's any type of threat. Um, I'm putting him in the same category as a bear. If he run, if he runs at me full speed, I got him here. But if he just chilling, I'm gonna probably put him in the odd wind, but it'd be close. What is this? Um, I, I almost said a lemur. Um, hold on. Don't tell me. Uh, it's a, po a possum, right? A fair. Oh, look, they all in the same family. They all in the same family. It's in the same family, nigga. You said a ferret. Whoever said ferret is dumb as hell. I'm sorry. You said ferret. I don't care. Anybody who said ferret, I'm banning you. Um, I'm dead in his shit. He might get a few licks in, but he got a long. Any animal on here that's that's lightweight and they got a long tail, I'm I'm ending this shit. I'm ending this shit. Okay. This is a full grown gorilla. No way. No chance. No way in fuck. Nah. Nah. I'm just not doing that. Oh, it's a silverback? Oh, yeah, nah. I'm cool. I'm cool. Do I need to say anything? Do I need to explain? Like, you can euthanize, a, uh, you can empathize with a gorilla? I thought you said euthanize. <laughs> um. What the fuck? What the fuck? Take this 10 minutes. They get talking about who I can empathize with. A fucking gorilla. Um, what is this? An orangutan? I don't know what this is. They in the, they in the ape family. Zabumafu will fold you. He's he's not gonna fold my shit, bro. A chimpanzee, orangutan. Who gives a fuck? I don't care, bro. I don't care. Um, I'm not fighting him either, bro. Any type of monkey, I'm just not putting that effort in. I'm staying away from monkeys. What is this? Is this a llama? No, that's not a llama. What is this? I can't even see it. How you think wins between a full brown bear and a silverback gorilla? Silverback gorilla low key, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I know if a bear sees me, I'm fucked as opposed to a gorilla, but I still feel like my chances of beating a bear are better than my chances of beating a gorilla. For whatever reason, the gorilla just intimidates me way more than the bear does. I feel like the bear never knows fully what it's up against. But the gorilla always knows that it can win in my mind. That's just my perception of the animals. That's just my perception. I could be wrong, but that's just my perception. Um, Y'all saying this is an alpaca? Uh, I don't know what this is, bro. Regardless, I'm putting them in. I'm putting them in that mode. I'm putting them. I'm putting them in that mode of uh, deceased material, or I'm gonna wear him on on my on my waist after I'm done finishing him off. A shark? Fuck no. I, bro, I, you, you don't know how many nightmares, I've had nightmares about being eaten by a shark. I've had, I've seen videos of like sharks swimming underneath, uh, boats and, 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 and like, and rafts and things like that. I, Bro, the sharpness of a shark's tooth. Have y'all ever worked in a restaurant where you had to cut meat? And you slice the meat on that little, on that big blade that's constantly spinning? If you've ever had to do that, I think a shark's teeth slide through your skin as easily as that. I'm not taking that risk. Because it's going to hurt, and it's going to hurt bad. And assuming he gets me in an area that isn't vital, 
and he don't just immediately go for my midsection or my torso, I'm cooked. Look up Megalodon. No. I'm cooked. If I go all the way in his mouth, no chance I survive. Zero chance. There's a look, I know people have survived shark attacks, but they body don't ever look the same. Right? So here's the thing. You have a higher chance of surviving a bear attack than a shark. No, you have a higher chance of surviving a shark attack than a bear attack. That can be fine. That can be true. But the likelihood that you at least look okay to be with regular human beings after the bear attack is higher than if you took a shark attack. Says who? I've seen them! I've seen shark bite victims and I've seen bear attack victims. Bear attack victims nine times out of ten can go back to regular function society and they don't look like... No, I didn't just make that up. I've seen the victims. Nigga, if you've seen a shark attack victim, it looked their whole shit looked deformed. Their whole shit looked deformed. And I'm not debating on that. I'm not debating on that, bro. They got chunks of their body missing. Remember the chuck from Finding Nemo, bro? Nigga, sounds stupid. Blood came out. Parts of their bodies are missing, are gone, are never coming back. Nigga, sounds stupid. I would take my chance with a bear if it meant that if I survive, I at least look normal still. Them shark victims, they do not look normal, bro. They look like they were born with, with missing parts. Stop. An elephant. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Let me, can I add a tear for I, was, I wouldn't fight because, like, I love them too much? Like, even if he would kill me, I just wouldn't fight him because I love elephants. I do. I love elephants. So I just I I would I like I think of elephants and I just I don't I don't even think of violence. I just I would just want to pet them and feed them and 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 be on them and just like lay with them and stuff like that. I wouldn't want to do anything other than that. I couldn't think of violence in an elephant. So I'm going to just put it here. Uh, like realistically speaking, I will put them in a position where I'm like, "Okay, I would never fight this animal because I love them so much." But yeah. I know they're still dangerous, but I wouldn't try to ever fight them. And they're peaceful by nature. So the, the chances of you being stomped out by an elephant unless you bothering him or you on his dick is very low from what I hear. I will play with him. Like we would play. We have friends. We'd be friends, bro. Just like chill. They will do that. They, hey, they'll take that risk. But you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten they chilling. An elephant would catch brother nature at a zoo. He wouldn't do it just on top like just you know what I'm saying? Just because. You had to give him a reason. Hold on. Hold I'm late. How are you winning against a rhino? What attack you putting on the rhino? Um, speed attack? <laughs> the fuck? Rhino's not catching me. What the fuck? It's as simple as that. Um, a snake? Don't know what kind of snake. I don't want to fight a snake. Their striking power is pretty unpredictable. Their striking power is pretty unpredictable. So I wouldn't even try to fight a snake. It's faster than you. Nigga, no, it's not. Y'all don't fucking run or work out. And because you niggas' hearts are about to fucking explode in your chest, you think everybody else is about to as well, nigga. You're not talking to a regular nigga. You're not. Y'all didn't. Y'all wasn't physical as kids. Y'all shit don't work the way it's supposed to, and that's fine. You speak for yourself. Don't speak for me. Um, A starfish... I'm afraid of a starfish face hugging me. I'm afraid of a starfish snake hug of, of face hugging me. If I get face hugged by a starfish, I'm ending it right there. I'm ending it right there. I'm not even about to take that risk. So you saying you could stomp out a bear but won't catch smoke with a snake? Yes. Where where are you where am I losing you? What's your mild time for us? Nigga, you gonna find out. Uh, what is this, a crocodile or an alligator? I don't care or know the difference. It looked like an alligator more than a crocodile, actually. I think it's an alligator. I'm not doing, I'm not taking that risk. Bro, the death roll, the death roll, no. That The death roll, I saw the death roll when I was like seven years old. That was enough for me to never want to ever see an alligator in real life. 
That was that was enough for me to never want to fuck with these niggas in real life ever. I'm sorry. No way in hell am I taking a chance with an animal that can have me in his mouth and say, you know what? This nigga ain't had enough yet. Start turning and rolling around to get the skin off the bone? No. Sorry, bruv. Not happening. Nope. A horse, I'm also probably going to get torn to shreds. I'm assuming I'm not on top of him riding him and he don't fall to his knees after I choked him out. Now, I know a lot of y'all are thinking, like, what's the big difference between a horse and a zebra? First of all, a zebra not as tall nine times out of ten. And second, a horse to me just feels more aggressive. And, they, and the zebra's got less power. So, that's how I feel. That's just my perception. What the fuck? Zebras are just angry horses? That's not true. That's not true. Horse is stronger? That's what I'm saying. Horse is strong. Horse is strong as fuck. I could take a hit from a zebra if I put my block up. If a horse back kicks me, no matter what I do, it's just, it's, it's done. I'm grits. A cheetah. A cheetah. I'm getting torn to shreds with a cheetah. I'm getting torn to shreds. Dot horses be making me jealous because they got that BBC. They probably can you? please my girl more than I can with my weak R5 inches. I'm like Sneeko. I watch my girl get hit from the back by a horse just to explore. That's a wild horse too, so we'll end your shit. I We gonna feed him to the zebra How you 50-50 with a lion but not a cheetah? Bro, any animal that's faster than me That could probably pounce on me I've seen a zebra, I've seen a, a cheetah jump I've seen a, che a cheetah jump and lunge at uh People from like 10 or 20 feet away Like, imagine a cheetah mid-air coming at you just coming off the run speed of 90 miles an hour it's not happening assuming you in assuming you in his zone radius he's gonna land on you he gonna take a chunk out of you i'm sorry i'm sorry um we got nemo here aren't these clownfish poisonous or am i tripping are clownfish poisonous or no Why did you just call the horse hung? Oh, they resist poison? Hmm. Cheetahs are weak, don't even bite that hard. Yeah, because you would fucking know. Look at the fucking... Look at the dude who's been bitten by 17,000 cheetahs here to tell us his fucking expert opinion about whether or not they bite hard or not. Yeah, I really believe you, gang. Clownfish, I'm feeling like I don't need to be worried about them. Um, I could probably put them in a pan. Nothing really happens, you know. Uh, is this a regular cat? It would be close, but I'm winning. It would be close, but I'm winning. Uh, Garfield not taking me out. Not today. Not today. You in, a, you in the family, but you're not strong enough to be a threat. You're not strong enough to be a threat. Almost every animal you think you're faster than can run like 30 to 40 miles per hour. Nobody you're said I was faster than them. I said I wasn't getting caught by a fucking rhino. Are you dumb? Are you dense? Are you deaf? I'm not getting caught. A rhino is not going to catch me. I'm not going to be caught in the clinches of a, of a jaw of a rhino if I'm getting out of the way of them. That's just, that's just facts. Y'all not going to tell me. Y'all are just L survivors. If this is a full-blown octopus, yeah, I'm not even taking that risk. Anybody in the, in the ocean, bro, I'm not taking that risk. A crab, I'm painting the walls with you. Oh, my God, it's a golden retriever puppy. Uh, it's a golden retriever puppy. Painting the walls. Painting the walls with his blood. I'm so, I'm so glad he came up because now I can really assert how I felt in the beginning of this video with how I feel right now. I'm so glad. It's a lab, whatever. I don't care. He's a puppy, and I'm I'm beating the shit out of him. Uh, what is this, a peacock? Hmm, let me think. Honestly, I would get distracted. Don't peacocks, like, spread their wings, like male peacocks spread their wings to show, like, that they horny or something like that? Like, to the women that they want to get? And then they be like, oh, shit, look at my dick. Like, I'm so big. And then they be like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. Like, 
I would be scared to fight a nigga that would just do that to me mid fight. I would be afraid. So I'm not. I'm not even on that type of timing. I'm gonna let him rock. Um, this is a lamb. I'm painting. I'm painting. I'm painting. I'm painting. I've seen lambs charge at people, bro. No force, no velocity, no type of power, really. You could try your best, but I'm turning around. I'm getting on your back. I'm strangling you. You finished. It is what it is. I'm not. I'm not getting taken out by a lamb. Um, hold on. What is this? I forgot. I don't know how to pronounce this. Not how to pronounce it, but what type of what type of bird it is? Uh, it's not a duck, but it's a swan. It's a swan. I know it's a swan. It's a swan, right? See, I already figured it out right beforehand too. I was almost late, but I thought about it. These don't look like swans, though, to be honest. But they do. That's the only thing I could think of now. Hmm. I don't really want to. I don't really want to fuck with swans, though. I don't really want to fuck with swans. I wouldn't be afraid to fight them, but I was just. I like. I look at. I look at geese. I look at ducks. I look at swans. I look at like flamingos. They're all animals that I just wouldn't ever want to. Like I'm, I'm like yo, chill. Like you mind your business, I mind my business. We don't even have to interact, you know. Like I really don't have a need to ever encounter a swan and be like, yo, let's fight. That's just my opinion. Like I really just want to let them rock. I just let them rock. What is this? Is this an owl? Yeah, this looks like an owl. Um. Kind of a similar situation to an eagle, but I feel more confident. Similar situation to an eagle, but I feel more confident. A whale? Is this a whale? Oh, yeah, nah. Nah. There's literally no damage that I could do to a whale. There's no chance of me coming out of his digestive system if he swallows me. Um, I don't know how many teeth whales have, if they do have teeth, but just the pressure of a whale, like, crunching down on me. Like nah, like I don't know. I don't know how he would do it, but he would f he would figure out a way to to fuck my shit up. I wouldn't even go for that. Um, a seal. I hear seals get really aggressive and they can slap the shit out of you. I hear they can, I hear they can smack you. So, I just oh, it's an otter or a seal. It's a sea lion. I don't care. It's in that family. Once they start slapping you, I feel like you're gonna get knocked out and he gonna he won't stop. He's gonna keep going. He gonna keep going. Um, this is a duck, right? Or is it a goose? No, this isn't a goose. What is this? Oh, this is a duck. I don't see ducks like this. Is this a duck? What the fuck? Why does it look like this? I don't see ducks that look like this. Um, if he get me in that grip, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hurt. But like, you know, he get a couple hits in. But I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm going, I'm, I'm gonna stomp him out. A cow. I don't feel like a cow really gonna be able to put up put put up much of a fight. Like you see what we be doing to him, bro. I don't think a cow really gonna like assuming that his weight became a problem, bro. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I'm not I'm not really too worried about a cow. Dolphins. The only thing I'm afraid of is being pub, uh, like uh, sexually assaulted, sexually assaulted by a dolphin. That's the only reason Do you I wouldn't think fight. You could take a dragon. What type of dragon? Okay, but what type of male cow? A bull? No, nah, I wouldn't take on a bull. A bull is different. And then we got right here, what is this, a goat? A goat, he in the same he in the same conversation as as the as the lamb. Goat in the same conversation as a lamb. He's finished. Um, all in all, I'm looking at this list and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm 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 satisfied. I'm satisfied, you know. Um, couple animals that you know I feel like I just never would come across, but outside of that, like this is just how I this is just how I feel. This this is this is just what's happening. You can say it's blasphemous as much as you want, bro. I don't give a shit. Just because you have zero self belief in yourself, like bro, like survive. I wouldn't mess with a dolphin. Dolphins are nature's most notorious arpists and they are sadistic and intelligent. Did you know that dolphin sperm is so virile and tenacious that it's even fertilized mouse eggs in the lab? You know now. I do know that. I've been known that. Have you ever seen a whale penis? That's a life you're not ready for. So while we talking about random water facts, nigga, I got a couple of my own.
If you could be one animal, which one would it be and why? I'll be a wolf. If I had to be an animal, I would probably be... I would either be an eagle. You know what? No. I would like to be a hawk. I'd be I'd, I'd rather be a hawk than an eagle. Cuz an eagle niggas be trying eagles cuz they know they're the number 1 bird, but hawk is number 2 and nobody really be thinking about the hawk when the eagle around. You know what I mean? But eagles can, like hawks can do like almost all the shit that eagles can do. They just more low key. So I feel like I'd be comfortable being a hawk. Like being able to just like fly around and go where I want all the time, no matter what, on my own type of timing. I feel like hawk is. I feel like hawk is that nigga for real. Either a hawk, or I'd be an underwater animal. I, I wouldn't want to be a land creature. I'll okay, say that. Griffin. I wouldn't want to be a land creature. So I'm. A, I'm a chill on land creatures. But I'm gonna be a hawk, or I'm gonna be. Done my chemistry 